in any farming ecosystem it is uh, very very critical to optimize the space while on the left side you can see we are trying to grow cover crops for next ragi season on the right side you can see coconut orchards and you can also see crops like fodder integrated below a coconut tree <coughs> also you can see there is an intercropping of papaya on the on the on the borders we have intercropped with papaya why this kind of a farming system is required land is a very scarce resource and if we manage our soils better it is very very easy to integrate crops but if soil is not good no matter what you do this crop integration struggles the fundamental aspect of this crop integration is can we learn to make manure at a scale here you can see as okay uh, we look around the farm on the left side you see manure piles you could see here manure being done we are using agricultural waste straw everything you can see the manure piles so these manure piles are producing close to around okay 20 tons of manure a month okay to manage around okay 20 acres of uh, land so this is a continuous process it's not a one time activity um we can we use cow dung and okay agricultural waste and chaff it pulverize it and make okay piles on indoor method and uh, we grow uh, or we make manure on the right side you can see napier uh, grasses growing below a coconut tree here you need not do anything for a coconut tree you just focus on growing the grasses the coconut harvest is going to happen this is the beauty of a intercropping system which crop to integrate where and when there need not be separate spaces for growing coconut there need not be separate spaces for okay growing uh, napier grasses all of them can coexist optimizing the land utilization and crops we are growing left also you can see this is a sugarcane plot okay the question is what is sugarcane doing in middle of a fodder plots the beauty is napier it gives okay if you grown properly 150 tons per acre is possible in a year that gives you bulk quantity but one aspect the napier primary aspect it lacks is availability of a carbohydrates in a small patch of land we do grow sugarcane how we grow napier mix both of them to make sure there is a nutrition balance for cow uh, to produce optimum amount of milk and for its her growth of course napier has other challenges but clubbing napier along with sugarcane is a wonderful combination to solve around 80% of feeding issues which we face okay for a dairy animal while this happens the coconuts okay out here trees they going to give you additional income you can also do the same thing in between mango cultivation we can do okay same thing with any other horticulture cultivation by appropriately spacing out in a coconut cultivation some people do every 20 feet one coconut tree rather than that we can just do 30 feet one coconut tree and optimize these crops here you can also see another variety of the grass here okay it is a bnh okay 11 okay this is bif napier hybrid 11 this we are experimenting with ensiling it silage making is a beautiful process where a green grass is chaffed and stored okay in a airtight manner 
without okay exposing to light the fermentation happens butyric and propionic acids going to get produced it's going to protect the grass and softens the fiber so that when a cow eats that grass the digestion okay aspects can be improved upon of course when you are using an apr grasses for silage making you need to ensure there are enough carbohydrates that's the reason we are mixing okay with sugar cane also i just wanted to show you how vigorous okay these napier and bnh crops can be <clears throat> you can see here it is it is it is taller than me i am 6 feet it will grow okay up to 10 to 12 feet now it is almost 6 feet you can see here you can see how vigorously this has been grown this is an amazing okay uh, a crop for feeding dairy animals the bns 11 beauty is you can see here so the the stem okay is soft it is not very big okay and easy to ensile also this can be made into a hay okay, if possible there is another variety called bnh 14 and bnh 11 they are similar similar but both the grasses either can be ensiled or we can make a hay it is possible and see the soft thread so the probably this is weighing around 5 kg 6 kg and it is a perennial crop once you once you plant it so keep cutting it okay every 45th day to 60th day cycle and it keeps growing again it can remain like likewise okay for maybe around 4 to 5 years before it needs to be replanted this is the ecosystem a farm should create where coconuts generally for harvest a year every third month you can harvest nuts either we can make them copra or sell the nuts as it is it is possible or coconuts can be sold as tender coconuts so leaf fronts okay all the coconut husk everything needs to be chaffed and given back to the soil to rejuvenate the soil to control what's happening okay into the okay uh, bacterial world we need to feed them or else bacteria will disappear from the soil keep focusing on increasing biomass into the soil and of course soil organic carbon if you feed 100 kg of biomass maybe 5 to 6% will get converted to soil organic carbon here also you can see the napier plots the vigorously they have grown on left side again you can see the crops just amazingly grown the best part is you can see the greenish nature of this one indicates nitrogen balance in the soil in organic soils how did you how do we get this nitrogen balance where is the nitrogen more often than not nitrogen is these days nitrogen is ammonia of course okay comes from factories when you use it as a top dressing the crops generally look very well that entire nitrogen balancing right now it is done through manure and chicken poop this is a rigorous this is a vigor you can see here the greenish nature okay integrates amazing nitrogen balance of soils i can just walk in and you can say you will not even find me here so if somebody can come here you can see here how beautifully this this is there you can come here you want to see see here so it's early morning as you can see dripping water you can see here water is dripping is beautiful okay <coughs> <coughs> likewise if you keep okay walking along in the far end you will see some mango trees this entire area of 14 acres has got around 6 to 7 mango trees they have grown big okay it's in our farm those mango trees last year gave us 25000 rupees income lot of questions getting asked is it enough no it is not enough of course you need lot more money to survive in this world but that is one of the income next income comes from coconut next income comes from dairy next income comes from 
some beautiful crops we have which are not edible of course we need to plant them so here you can see this year we are trying to establish what is called as a gliricidia it's not a crop but it's a mulch crop this is gliricidia you can see here these are the gliricidias so they will become and generate amazing amount of mulch to make manure amazing potash fixers okay amazing nitrogen fixers along the bunds you can plant okay uh, gliricidia you can see here so this is a walking bund you can see here this is a gliricidia crop being integrated this is a gliricidia you can see here this is a gliricidia this is a gliricidia every 5 feet we have planted in 2 years time they are generating enough mulch along with cow dung this okay let me say 5000 square feet of okay this plot which is napier growing plot here of course we are growing around 6 acres of uh, crops here this is good enough so that's how you can start localizing manure making that is also very very critical we start generating mulches in your ecosystem to feed back to soil what it is doing what is this crops like gliricidia doing what is the relevance lot of discussions on sequestering carbon what plants are doing is there is carbon dioxide in the air they are sequestering and fixing carbon into okay the crops be it okay napier grass or be it gliricidia fundamental aspect of the gliricidia is other than fixing carbon dioxide it is taking the nitrogen out from the air it is fixing back it is also taking okay creating lot of okay phosphorus which is required for plant growth this when clubbed with okay uh, cow dung and we can make an amazing quality manure that's what akshay kalpa does agricultural waste clubbed with crops like gliricidia creating an ecosystem see the beauty of this greenery you see here the greenery you are seeing here you can see you can see the greenery here this all okay happens because we can make quality manure